What's up guys, this is Eddie Rod here, and I've got a special treat for you today. Check this out. Now, this is very glitchy, very fidgety, I know, but what I am doing right here is head tracking. I have a, a homemade cap with some infrared lights that I had purchased off of uh, the internet because they didn't have the ones I needed at, um, why do I have SAS? Oh, and I have the controller. They didn't have what I needed at Radio Shack, so I went on the internet and got the right infrared LEDs that I needed, and I made a nice little cap for a free track. <clears throat> I'll put the links in the description for the uh, mod, which is called Curb Track, and uh, together with Free Track or Track IR, you too can have this amazing head tracking software. Um, I should have got my camera going because all I'm doing is slight head movements with my head. I have my headphones on as well, so it's it's very uncomfortable right now the way I have these big bulky headphones over the top of my homemade uh, cap. It's not a bad looking cap. It's a real nice looking what I did. I, I, this is the Mark II that I'm wearing right now. The Mark I looked terrible. Um, but yeah, you can look down. You can zoom in. You got your left and your right, your X, Y, Z, all kinds of axes. It's really nice and responsive. I can keep my eyes on that building right there while we zoom by and I could kind of zoom in on it get close to the window oh I bumped my head ow um, oh I tried to swing my head too fast and it kind of like hang for it uh, lagged for a second there but uh, yeah this is pretty nice for what it is this mod is fairly new I believe I cannot believe the luck I had I used to use free track for uh, Falcon BMS the greatest simulator airplane simulator ever and uh, oh man I went to look just by a miracle. I went to look and see if they had it for Kerbal Space Program. If for some miracle there was a mod or something. And guess what? There was. Curb Track. And it was just recently made. I was so happy to see that. And this is just so fun. This is a mod for the... Uh, I believe this is the Mark II cockpit. cockpit and uh, it allows you to have the internal view. Also, I believe he's going to have in the future... Uh, compatibility with the um, through the eyes of a Kerbal mod or whatever I don't know if that's the name of the mod but that's what it said there um, where you can actually see uh, first person from the Kerbal's point of view when you're on a uh, EVA and that would be amazing with free track here I'm looking down at my keyboard sorry about that guys I keep when I look down at that panel down there that's me looking at my keyboard so every time you see me like that right there I'm looking down at my keyboard looking out the window there yeah, the, get close as we can. Uh, I should drop some bombs. We should drop some bombs. This is pretty good. I'm using the PlayStation Eye for this. The uh, PlayStation 3 Eye that I uh, custom tweaked with uh, infrared. I removed the uh, IR shield or whatever the heck that little piece of glass in there. And I put a light blocking things, a piece of... Uh, actually, I'm using a piece of uh, video cassette tape from like a VCR tape. Two of them doubled up. And, uh, yeah, it does a pretty good job for what I needed to do. But it's a brand new mod, and, and, and it needs a lot of work done. So I would imagine in the future it would be very, very immaculate. Right now, as it is, it looks fine. But there's some glitches, like, on the runway, and sometimes you'll see it, like, really glitchy. Um, I don't know if that's just me experiencing that because I'm using other mods. But, um, yeah, I just felt like I had to show this off to you guys so you could look over when you're docking in space maybe we should take a rocket up to space real quick that'd be pretty good Ooh, let's have a crash in first person ah! oh yeah I forgot to tell you you can also control the external as well and if at any time you get motion sickness and feel you must get off the ride you just push scroll lock and you have control of your mouse and normal controls again alright so let's uh we're gonna go ahead and revert to space plane hangar and I'm going to get back in the building here. <clears throat> now, I'm going to go ahead and if you hear some noise here, I'm going to switch off my head, my uh, cap here to save on battery juice. And as well, so it's not um, using CPU, you know, tracking my head while I'm not, while I don't need it to in the, in the building here. So, right now, let's just build a simple rocket. 
Or actually, we could probably just launch the uh, the Kerbal X. Let's see, what do we got in here? Do I have anything in here that I've been working on? No, I wish I had my mini in here. Yeah, here we go. I do have the mini. This is a little mission I've been working on for you guys. And uh, if only I could get a little Kerbal up there, we'd be all set. Uh, how are we going to get a Kerbal up there? We need a Kerbal up there. But this little rocket right here, check it out, has 22,000 Delta V. That's right. 22,000 Delta V. Small rocket, big mission. But there's no internal view on this. Oh, no. Sorry about that. We'll have to show that off in a different mission. For now, we're going to go ahead and do the Kerbal X. And, uh, yep, that's good to go. Uh, I believe everything is pretty good. Do they have RCS on this bad boy? There's no RCS. We'll just throw some on there and fix that problem right now. There, that looks good. That looks really good. Okay. Actually, we probably don't want to put it on the lander stage. Um, actually, screw it. We're not going to be worrying about that. And control. Let's go ahead and throw us some of these bad boys. Um, let's see. The center of mass might be right around. Uh, we'll put it right on top of there. Eh. Yeah. I don't know. Where is that? That's going to end up there. Yeah, we'll just put it right there. As low as we can go. That looks fine. Actually, they won't hit. Let's bring them down. That's where I want them. Right there. Alright, and uh, we're just going to go ahead and launch this bad boy. It had parachute on the top. It didn't have docking ports. I wanted to dock though. Let's send two of these up and dock them to each other. That's what I want to do. Oh, wait. Got the head tracking off, so we got to hit scroll lock to get our camera controls back. Yeah, let's replace that with a docking port. And just for the fun of it, we'll take two landers and dock them up to each other in space. That's what we're going to do. So we're going to knock off that bad boy. And, you know, just in case of emergency, we will put some parachutes. But not those guys. We'll put some of these from right here. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Put that right there. Kerbal X modded. Beautiful. Oh, snap. I've got the freaking uh, joystick still plugged in. Going to be flying the rocket with that, I guess. Eh, it'll still fly with the controls, I think. I don't know. So that's the Kerbal X modded right there. Oh, we got to put the... Uh, we should go ahead and put some control one of these bad boys. Always use this one right here. Look at the weight difference. Same power. And same thing. It's all the same. Alright, what was I going to do now? Grab this bad boy. Beautiful. Struts, too. I don't know why, but they, they didn't put any vertical struts on this thing. So we're just going to add... Oh, and these nose cones are super heavy. If you want more Delta V, get rid of these. Do you guys not re... Oh, man. You guys should really check out the weight. That thing alone is a third of a ton. 0 0.3. All right. So you, you do the math right there. We could just replace them. Even with stock nose cones is way better. These regular little blue ones. Where are they? Right here. Look, because the little tip is 0 0.1. So each one is 0 0.4. Almost a half a ton. For each one. Okay. Beautiful. They've already got the fuel lines done up. Give me that strut. Alright. Bam. And bam. Alright. We are looking good. That's the modded Kerbal X, and it should do really good now. For the weight that I added, I took it off in the uh, nose cones. Alright, let's flip the uh, thing back on here. Switching the power on. Shift. 
and uh, F12. We'll reset it and center it. Let me get center first before I do that. So now I, I have all my... There we go. Beautiful. And we'll get an internal view going on here. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's not as glitchy as it normally is with me. All right. It's actually running perfect today. Lovely. We could look out the windows. Look down at the launch pad. I'm so scared. Do we have to go to space? Hey, you down there. Hey, I don't want to go, man. Okay. Um, Powering up the... The power, give me this, give me this, back up, power it up, and boop, 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 and uh, pushing, uh, let's see here, RCS and stuff, all that's good, and okay, where's the big red button? You know where the big red button is? No? Yeah? No? Alright, screw you. Okay, we'll just go ahead and get out to the camera view here, we will pause that for a sec, zoom out, and three. Two, one, lift up. We're going to space, man. Let's go. We are going to space. You hear me? We're going. Well, I want to see if the things. Can, can I see him fall? No. Okay. There's a little bit of that glitchiness I was talking about. I gotta keep my eye on the nav ball. I've got the uh, textures to half. Instead of full res, half resolution to because of all the mods that I have installed. Sorry that I'm moving around so much. You know, you, you don't want to keep your head absolutely still. In real life, you know, this would be what you'd be doing. You'd be looking around at everything like, oh, this is so amazing. You turn around and talk to your buddy. Hey, hey, why are you so scared, man? What's up, buddy? What's up? Why are you so scared? Ah, you're just so scary. Okay. Oh, look. Is that where we're going? Right there? To the moon? Yeah? How high are we? Uh, let's see, where is it? There it is. All right, we are pretty much at 10,000. Let's go ahead and start our gravity turn here. Ba -da 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 -dee -da -da -da. We are going to space. Oh, I should have got the other um, cockpit, you know, the one for the space stations. This would be me the whole time. I'd just be leaning out the window. Oh, look at the moon. I still see you, moon. So beautiful. Look at you. Look at you. I can look almost all the way back. That is pretty good range of motion. I still got my head perfectly on the TV. I can see everything fine, normal. Um, oh, yeah. This is perfect. It's beautiful. Let's go ahead and take a peek outside here. You can look all the way around. You can look like uh, that right there. You can look up at the sun. So you could, you don't even have, you could just do this with one hand right here. Look at which direction you're going. Beautiful. Very good. We're at 30,000 already. We might want to lower it down. All right, this is lovely. I see stars. Oh, let me reach up, reach, reach. Oh, okay. I see stars out there, guys. We are almost to space. Oh, yeah, let's look at the map. You can actually do out here in the map, too. We're going to kill it right there. Beautiful. Ugh, turn my head, and I'm going to do this with the... Uh, can I? Here, let's, let's center it right there. We will do Shift F12. All right, now we can do that. Right there, add maneuver. I'm looking right under the brim of my hat right now. Come on. That should do it. Alright, so we'll go ahead and point ourselves there. Let's get out of the map. Oh, look at that. Look at that. I've got the visual enhancements mod installed too. Alright, let's uh let's let's center it back up right. Center myself and then center the camera. Oh reach. Look at that. Beautiful. We can see outside, lovely. Look out the windows. Oh man, that is amazing. Look out the front through the window there. Look out the, oh wait, I leaned in the wrong way. Sorry about that. Look out through there. It's kind of tricky at first, but once you get it down pat, you know, you could crouch down at your seat. You could get up like that. You could just, you know, it's really amazing how, oh, look at the window out there, the sun. Oh, can I look out your window, bro? Excuse me, can I just get through here? Right there. All right, that looks good. That looks really good. Whew, all right. Oh, I hope I did. Uh, 
I hope that there's no problems with the sound on this video because I did not do a test recording. I, it's been a while since I've done a video. I do apologize for that. But um, I wanted it to be a surprise. I wanted to surprise you guys. Let's go ahead and get out of here for a sec. Two minutes to the node. Whoa. Let's put the RCS on there for a sec. And right there. Let's go ahead and just uh, circularize real quick so I don't have to worry about that. Get the inter the interior view. Beautiful, looking good. Oh, I'm so excited. We's going to space. We's going to space. Yes, we are. Um. So, what's the matter with you? Huh? You got beef? Hey, you down there? You want you want to get on this action? All right. You can get on the action. Hold on, let me circularize here. Let's check out his perspective. Oh, oh yeah, this is looking good over here, too. And three, two, one. Bam. All right, that's pretty good. We should be good. Yeah. Get rid of that. Bam. All right, now we can have all the fun we want. All right, look at down here. What's up, guys? Oh, I can almost reach you. Oh, I can actually look out you guys' window now. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, I can see everything over there. That's awesome. Man. Oh, I could actually read the fire extinguisher if it had writing on this thing. Does it have writing on this thing? Turn my head sideways. Hey. Ooh, look out the window up there. All right. This is... this. I'm very happy. I could look down at my controls the right way here. Uh, yep. Everything's looking nominal. Systems are go down here, guys. All right. What does Bill have to say? Bill says, yep, everything's looking good. The window seat is looking nominal. Ooh, look at that. Look at those beautiful clouds. Oh, that's just so amazing. You you want you want to see too? Okay, we'll roll over on your side. Look at this. Look at this. Let's get a front view. Oh, yeah, look at that. Whoa, that's scary. Oh, I'm reaching so high. You can hit escape and you can mess with the uh, translations here, the uh, sensitivities and stuff. Um, it is a little glitch for me right now when I sit still. That's about as still as it's going to get for me sometimes, you know, because you know, your head is not absolutely still and free track needs to be tweaked, but it does have all perfect range of motion and uh, it's, it's really nice. So I'm going to leave these uh, links in the description. We are going to finish this episode up by linking up another module but i'm gonna do that in part b to this right here so i want to thank you guys for watching don't forget to smash that like button it's been a pain in the butt to get this thing working and i have got it working for you maybe we'll do this for a while we'll use it for our missions for a little bit maybe not we'll see what happens so again thank you guys for watching i'm gonna catch you guys in the next video peace